Hello, in this video, I am going to run you through what is the capital asset pricing model. And it is also known as CAP M for short. So if you ever hear CAP M, it is the capital asset pricing model. It's a pretty simple concept. It helps you calculate the return of a security, such as a stock, for example, based on its risk. So this is great for figuring out how risky, you know, a stock you know is and it factors in a few different elements so these are the elements that it is factoring in and so 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 if I get this so all I is the expected rate of return the expected rate of return and there's two versions because there's an E here and there's an E there, and this is just because this is estimated. And if you have this at the top of it, that is also indicating that it is estimated as well. I wanted to show you both versions just in case you see one and you think it's something different. It's just the same, it's just notation. Okay, so that's what the first part is. RF is the risk free return, the risk free return. And we could say it's a risk-free return if you invest in a government bond, for example, for, for example, a government, government bond. And depending on the, the actual bond, you know, the length and the t when you actually take it out, the percent return will vary. But we're going to say for, for today that it is two percent so nothing crazy but that's just a risk-free return the next part which is the beta is, is the stocks beta so the every stock will have a beta if you literally google the stock name and stock and then beta you will you, you should be able to find it so if you googled apple space stock space beta you will get it and currently apple's beta is 1.27 is what we'll be using in the example and so that 1.27 is essentially the risk of this particular stock it just means you know when the market goes up let's say by one point that goes up, goes up by a factor of 1.27 but it also goes down by 1.27 as well so the closer to one the more in line with the market that it is performing if you have a beta of i don't know five that's great it, it, it's a rough estimate of saying that if the market goes up by five times yeah i mean if the market goes up by 10 times you're going to go up by 50 times so it's five times the average market return but if the market is going down by 10 times your stock's going to go down by 50 times as well so that's just something to bear in mind we'll run through some examples and then the final part which is rm and this is the expected expected market return so if let's say you invested in something like an s p 500 and you get various figures thrown around from seven eight nine percent depending on what sort of time period you have when you're looking at it i'm going to use a s p 500 percentage of eight percent when we do some calculations so so let's actually you know, run through some examples so apple apple their beta is 1.27 Microsoft's beta is 0 0.82. Again, you can Google this and easily get this information. So the expected rate of return, so the expected rate of return would be, so we said we'll have a government bond, so risk-free at 2%. And the formula was just right here plus the beta, which is 1.27 for Apple, times by the oh, I forgot it. <laughs> the uh, 
the market rate of return, the expected market rate of return, 8% minus the risk free one, which is 8%, 2%, and that will give us something. Let me also put the formula for Microsoft, so 2% times by 0 0.82. So as you can see, the only thing that is changing is the beta the only time the other values will change as well is if you are in a different time period or potentially you are in a different market and um, but then there's other factors to consider as well so yeah we can actually take a look at this so we can have a look so let's grab a calculator got a calculator right here so we want to put 2%, so I'll put 0 0.02, and it was plus 1.27. I need a scientific calculator, do I not? I need a scientific one. Okay, so let's start again. So we 0 0.2 plus 1.27, then brackets. What is happening? That did not work out. Let's just go. Let's just go to Google. Google will, will get us a better result. So 0 0.2, 0 0.2, sorry. Plus 1.27. Open bracket. 0 0.08 for the market rate of return. Minus 0 0.02 for the. So the expected rate of return is 9% or 9.62%. 9 9.6, let me change the color up, change it back to 9.62%. And if I go back to Google, and we just need to change this to 0 0.02, 0 0.82. And this is 6.92 percent because obviously you times it by a hundred to get the percent. Do not forget that. So we get 6.92 percent. 6.92 percent. So that is the capital asset pricing model for Apple and for Microsoft based on a risk free rate of 2 percent based on a average market return of oh no, 2%, sorry, for the risk-free rate and a market return of 8%. So that's basically how you calculate the CAPM. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. Don't forget the CAPM is just calculating the net return of a security based on its risk. So it's allowed you to check the return relative to the risk very important. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.